And that's a riskless maxi. It only cost us a candy, a scale, and like three mons. Good morning, gamers. Hey, Funny's Vein, thank you for the gifted subs. I appreciate it. Thank you for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. Me purposefully putting birthday stream in the stream live notification and then immediately getting embarrassed at all the attention and happy birthday wishes that I'm getting. So quick box update for those that missed it. Um, we had some crazy lines on Tabitha and Maxi last night. We're officially out of Magma Hideout. Things are looking mighty tight and the hardest split of the game is far from over. It's getting pretty serious because Aqua Hideout, while it may not have a field gimmick, like um, Hell Room did. The gimmick in here is just that every trainer is fucking insane and can wipe you. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing. So Magma Hideout Hell Room is bad, but they all have like four or five mons, and then Tabitha Maxi obviously have six. A lot of the Magma Hideout trainers actually don't have a full team of six, and this is, we don't get afforded that much. Like a lot of these are five four mon trainers, I guess as well. Um, but some of this shit is pretty brutal. How many fights is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not that bad. All right. First grunt in Aqua Hideout. This shit's rough. We have pretty good answers to everything, but unfortunately this is a bit of a vibes-based line because I couldn't find a consistent bait after the second Pokemon. Okay, let's go in. I'm ready. <sighs> Aqua Grunt in Hideout number one. I love this um, field, by the way. I wish they used it more. The background it looks super sick. Okay, this is Bright Powder Persian. We're pre-burned because this has hypnosis. We have a zoom lens so we can always hit. It's a crit right off the bat. That's fine. We can't take too much damage because we'll start baiting Crunch from Pangoro, which is a risk with defense drop, but it's probably fine. No more permanent magma storm is very nice at least. Yeah, this is crunch range, I think. It's okay. This might be crunch range? I'm not actually sure. Yeah, one roll of crunch. We don't need the close combat drops, luckily. This is Quick Claw Pangoro with insane coverage and Scrappy, but we actually have like the perfect counter to it in um, Galarian Weezing. This thing is incredible, man. Um, this is where the inconsistencies begin, because I could not- because this can- highest damage here is Gunk Shot on Weezing, so I can't really control how much damage I'm going to take here, so... Depending on if this Gunk Shot misses, or crits, or hits, I'll be baiting, like, different stuff. Which is a little bit annoying, but we should be able to steer out of every situation. Okay, so Strange Seam is just gonna kill here. Quick Claw proc doesn't matter, we're slower anyway. Gunk Shot's gonna hit. I believe Gunk Shot hit no crit as Kingler. That looks very much like Kingler to me. Yep. Okay. Why do I feel like I didn't put Dragon Fang on this guy? I did. Okay. All right, so this is always liquidation. Um, we're never dead to crit. We just go to Dragapult and then we Draco Meteor kill him. Um, I don't think there's anything we need to think about. Yeah, we'll be fine. It's a sheer force life orb Kingler. It does a f ton of damage, but luckily Dragapult is actually pretty bulky. Okay, drop a Draco. And this should bait. I'm not actually sure. I think this is Buffalon for slow kill. That's perfect. I think he can. No, he can't work up. I have fast to a KO with darts. So this is always lash out. So we can go to Heracross. This is Water Gem Surf Buffalant, just in case you wanted to bring a Rhyperior exactly. You obviously can't head charge because we're immune. 
Uh, yeah, this can only ever be Lash Out. Easy peasy. Perfect. Now we just outspeed and kill with close combat. We'll take a lot of chip damage here, but it should be okay. I'm just looking if I'm missing anything, but we should be good. This will always get Floatzel, I believe. It has to, right? Because I see fast two at KO, uh, fast one at KO on Grapp locked. That's the whole reason I brought this guy. Yeah, we don't go Mega here because we need to prevent Ice Punch Freeze from Grapp locked anyway, and um, Life Orb plus. Guts actually one shots the grapple locked in the back. Okay, so this is focus band floatzel, which is really fing evil. I don't really have a way to consistently deal with this with residual damage. Or dots, I guess you would call them. I don't know why I keep saying residual damage. I don't know where I picked that up. What is the actual Pokemon term for that? What do like competitive players call it? Indirect damage? What is it? Passive? Passive damage. Okay, so I actually brought two answers to this Floatzel because we got we did some roll compression with Heracross to be the grapple lock counter. Um, so we're gonna go to Araquanid first. This has power up punch to raise its attack, and then it'll like start popping off on you. Um, so we're we're going to go to Araquanid and then lower its attack back down with lunges, and then eventually we can go to Wall Rain if sh gets a little bit spicy. Please don't defense drop me right away. That's very nice. There's no reason to sticky web. They call it crisp damage in the UK. Got it. I feel like chip damage is something else. Holy sh! There's a big thunderstorm inside. I think you can chip damage someone with like U-turn, right? But that's not what I mean. Like what I mean is the things that kill focus band Pokemon. So poison. Magma Storm. Okay, so what you're telling me is there's no... I, I guess passive seems to be the most common one, huh? Let's go with that. I like residual. I don't know. It just makes me sound smart. That's a sentence. Listen, I'm ESL, okay? You're not allowed to make fun of me. Okay, that was actually a lot of damage. Did I crit there? I totally missed it. Actually, huge crit. Okay, no defense drops. Okay, no focus band procs. I'm not sure if I've gotten a single focus band proc all run. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, and then this is grapple locked. Um, I believe nothing can happen here if we just go to Heracross because we just outspeed and kill it with guts boosted, life orb, close combat. Um, I'm just double checking my ranges. This thing's kind of evil. It's got like whirlpool and payback and revenge does a lot of damage. It's got assault vest, so you can't just psycho boost it. Um, but Heracross gets to just KO things in neutral sometimes, so it's pretty sick. Uh, worst damage he can do here. Payback is not going to be boosted. Ice Punch crit for 117. And then I take one turn of Burn Chip. And then I take one turn of Life Orb Chip. And then no Burn Chip. Um, did you say KO things in neutral? Yeah. I meant like, what I mean by that is like, without super effective damage. <laughs> Listen, I'm making up all sorts of new glossary terms today. Okay, yeah, burn crisp here. Okay, so we'll take one round of life orb, one round of burn. So life orb is 24, burn is gonna be like 15. That's 39 total. So 120. I'm actually three off being dead. Why did I do this? The problem is you can't pivot because of whirlpool, right? 
This is also never gonna ice punch currently. I, I th yeah, that's why I did it because I didn't see a situation where this would ever actually ice punch on the on the switch. Okay, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, yeah, because this is always payback, or I think it can be revenge, or whirlpool. Yeah, that's why I did it. Okay, I remember now. Okay, we're fine. God, how broken is Heracross, man? Like, look at that damage! Crazy. Okay! That was a really- that's a really tough grunt! What's the difference between pre-poison, pre-toxic? You just take less damage at the start. So over three turns- so it, it starts at one- so regular poison always deals one-eighth of your HP. And then Toxic starts at 1 16th and adds 1 16th every take. So it goes 2 16th, turn 2, 3 16th, and so on. So if it's over 3 turns, Toxic does the same amount as Poison. If it's over 2 turns, it does less. So if you expect to be out for 3 turns or less, you should pre-Toxic. Where does this one go? One of these is an Electrode, huh? Left is Trode, right is Item. You wouldn't lie to me on my birthday. I knew you wouldn't. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we can't get Electro Dot, guys, it's a dupe. Which means you lose one encounter. If you take Electrode in New Marvel. But really you don't because the f else are you getting in New Marvel? Alright, Focus Band and Reflect Light Screen lead here for the Cryogonal. It's a little bit annoying, but we'll we will do the classic brick break into the light screen um, reflect strat. Okay, it'll attack. It's fine. We're pretty bulky. We one-shot on this focus band proc. This is not riskless, by the way. Never mind, focus bands never proc on my ROM, I guess. This should be superior. Unlucky. Yeah, it's a slow kill. I mean, this is fine. What move is this? This is like triple overlap between close combat, poison jab, and thunder punch. I think the line is fine. None of our switch ins really need us to. Uh, unless. Unless Sigilyph baits superior? There's no way. Nah, I think the line is completely intact here. We should be fine. So this is always Torterra for the pivot. We can't get crit because we're battle armor. Fine. Poison would be a little bit annoying. Okay. This is guaranteed close combat. Oh, we can't get poison because it's sheer force. Yeah, how often I'm gonna over under on how often I'm gonna make that mistake for the rest of the run. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. Guaranteed close combat. We go here. We didn't actually need damage boost, huh? Like, not at all. First of all, he's life orb. Wait, why did he just take life orb damage? Oh, because he didn't use a move that is affected by sheer force, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Psycho boost kill. Add him up. But yeah, I, I don't. Th I, if I if I was always baiting close combat there, I didn't actually need to go twisted spoon on Sigilyph, which kind of doesn't matter. But 
I guess it means I could have gone itemless, so I don't bait knockoff on this switch. This is all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the reason, too, but it's fine. Uh, knockoff is 184 on the map. This can sometimes knock off, but worst case, he knocks off Citrus Berry off of the Torterra. And then we're baiting random move. We just want to avoid wild charge. So let's go here. He cannot coil because he always sees kill. Perfect. He cannot coil because I have fast two Ikea with wood hammer. This is Aqua Tail or Knock Off. Breloom actually full walls this, and we have Poison Heal. Can't coil because we have fast two at KO. That's completely fine. I didn't even equip an item. This is kind of broken. Facade is most damage here. It's like a range to two at KO, but with wild charge recoil, it's fine. Okay. Oh, if I. Uh, this line was never consistent, though, right? Because now this is never glare on the switch from Superior. This is Bright Powder Contrary Superior coming in. This thing is brutal. Even though Dragon Pulse is most damage, he can Leaf Storm here because he sees it as a setup move. We have Pre-Toxic Scent of Scorch because it takes less damage than Pre-Poison this can glare paralyze us at least this can never be leech seed this is actually kind of good we have zoom lens for the bright powder the only thing that's kind of cringe is that we like don't kill it but we're gonna get a lot of healing from leech life at least it's fine for now i wonder if i should have done this I could have. I, I had a safer line with Heracross, but I would have had to delete my to delete my flex slot for X Scissor, and I can't replenish X Scissor, so I'm locked into four moves after that on Heracross, rather than being able to cycle Bug Bite, Brick Break, Aerial Ace, stuff like that. So yeah, let's not Fire Lash because it's contrary. This is gonna do a pretty good amount of damage. We're gonna heal a lot. This is a little bit spooky. I think we're fine though. Oh, that's completely fine. This is Olomola. Why this thing even exists on this team is... Uh, this. Okay, so the set is like... I understand the... It's like Whirlpool, Scald, Wish, Toxic. AKA it's completely walled by my pre-poisoned Breloom. <laughs> I, I don't know... Like, I understand the intention to trap with Whirlpool and stuff, but... It is Rocky Helmet, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, I'll just kill it with a Breloom crit, I guess. Plus two frags for Breloom. Not bad. I did have, like, the perfect counter. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't realize she would be right there, so I didn't double check my sh but we should be fine. Okay, so this is another Focus Sash Weak Armor Omastar that you know from the time that I discovered that there is a bug with Skill Link and Weak Armor. We've since made more discoveries about it. Um, basically what happens, it doesn't matter. We just can't use Heracross to kill this. But... 
I did learn, I literally didn't know this before planning for this fight, is that special moves actually don't proc weak armor. So we can hit him into Focus Sash with a special move here. He's very likely to use Hazards this turn. So we'll knock him on 1 HP without giving him the speed boost from weak armor here. We do not fake out, because that will give him weak armor boost. The goal is to get this off the field together with the Hazards he's about to set. That's why this thing is so dangerous it's really hard to kill without it setting up hazards. There's some stealth rocks for you. Okay. This will be either spikes or power gem on this switch to Excadrill. Perfectly fine. Because we never triggered weak armor, we're faster. And we just kill with rapid spin. Blow away the spikes. Very nice. Okay, this should be, because of plus one speed, I outspeed the Sharpedo in the back. He no longer sees slow kill, so he's going to go for slow kill. Or he no longer sees fast kill, so he's going to go for slow kill as Scavalier. This is Quick Claw as Scavalier. This thing is a beyond busted. It does so much damage. It's Crobat for some reason. Oh, because I didn't take enough damage. Okay, that's bad. Um, I think it's fine. What is this using? This is Heat Wave or Acro. So we'll kill this with Alaska. He will go Lantern next, I think. No, it's Sharpedo after. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't think about this. I thought I would always take enough damage. But with only stealth rocks, yeah, drill run does 95. I need a pre-damage just like by 5 HP. I didn't think about this. My bad, my bad. It's pretty steerable. We'll see. Arcanine is going to bait Sharpedo. And then after what we bait after Sharpedo is like really bad because basically we just can't predict what HP we're going to be at after we kill Sharpedo. And that's, that's where this is potentially dangerous. We're going to kill this with Rock Slide into Extreme Speed. Pretty sure this is Sharpedo. I outspeed a lantern. Right? Yeah, I do. Okay, let's hope that this is Waterfall and not Earthquake. This is very far from a safe matchup for Wall Rain. It's not good. This has a focus band, so it could survive my attack here. Don't flinch. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, crit. We're kind of due for some bad RNG, I hate to say it. Okay, don't focus band. I think we're okay. Huge. Okay. Huge. Huge, 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 huge. The backup for this was Heracross in the back. Yeah, okay. I think we're back on track, kinda. It just means this is a Scavalier last, but that's fine. This is Guaranteed Thunder. Okay, so the plan for this Lantern, unfortunately, I hate to say, is that we're gonna PP stall it. So we're gonna count some PP. It's 10 Thunders, 8 Hydro Pumps. We can think about positioning a little bit, but I think we're exactly back on track, actually. Because Excadrill is going to kill this once he's out of Hydro Pumps. And then we're always getting Drill Run from a Scavalier, and then we're back on track. Okay, so this is Guaranteed Thunder. One Thunder. That's one. That was the th second Thunder. So 5-2 now. The Thunder PP doesn't really matter. 
six two. Two more. Seven. One more. So this should be the final one. Excadrill should be safe. The funny thing is, I am actually really likely to just outspeed and kill, kill here with Wideland's Earthquake. This whole PP stall is just to prevent like a 7% chance of this Earthquake missing uh, through Bright Powder or missing the range. <laughs> We got it anyway. Okay, and this is a Scavalier. And I have fast two at KO, so we can't Swords Dance. Yeah, perfect. This is always Drill Run. So we have to pivot. We're still not out safely, but we're very, very likely to be out. Guaranteed Drill Run here. So we're going to pivot through Heracross. Perfect. Now this is guaranteed Iron Head. He can't Sword Stance because I again have fast 2 at KO. We can go to Send a Scorch and now we need to dodge Quick Claw Crit after getting hit. Um, but only if he rolls really well or Crit into Quick Claw Crit. Very, very, very likely to win this. And if we do lose it, we have backup with Heracross. It just means that Scent of Scorch dies. So much damage. Alright, let's see. Does he have any rolls to kill me, or are we out? One crit roll kills me, and he needs to proc Quick Claw for it. Easy. Is that an electrode or an item? You guys have to tell me the truth. That's my... Okay, it's actually no longer my birthday. It's 1am. Never mind. You guys can lie. It's fine. I'm leading Magnazone. Nice. It's a good item. Oh, that is a electrode home. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm leading Magnazone, so it's probably fine, but time to truck, I guess. I got a calc. <laughs> it's a dupe, guys. I can't catch this. I mean, running's gonna be tough, but... I can't also can't really damage it, so just boom, just explode you piece. Of this would be so fucking hilarious if I lost a mon to this actually. Uh, guys, I'm not dead to any explosion crits right now, unless this is Adam and Thirty One attack. I don't think I have a fluffy tail, do I? I don't know if I would use it, to be honest. It is a hardcore Nuzlocke. Y'all? This does a lot of damage to Excadrill. Y'all? <laughs> I actually don't know what to do. So, okay, X is never dead to Explosion Crit. And half of his moves are electric moves. So let's try that and hope that it's not exactly energy ball. Unreal. Oh, well, alright. I mean, this is definitely faster than me, so running is... unlikely. I am definitely dead to explosion crit. Legion, I think, can die to Thunderbolt or Energy Ball crit. How much damage was this? 108 from Energy Ball. We can infer some about... I mean, I'm only dead to exactly Explosion crit, but I am always dead to that. This is unironically the most danger I've been in since, like... I don't even know. Mount Pyre. <laughs> this is way too fast. I don't think I can click run. Yeah, it's like 1 in 32 to die, I think. Depending on what this guy's stats are, but yeah, basically. 
Now I think even if he's really low special attack, I think energy ball crit into Lorb damage usually kills me. Insane. What happens if you die? I mean, I lose my Excadrill. I'm gonna have to recook the entire fight and never have an Excadrill again, and this thing's really f***ing good. None of my switches do anything. Yeah, there's a chance Earthquake doesn't even kill this, by the way. Perfect. Oh, please kill. Don't have, like, plus defense. Okay. It's that easy. It's that shrimple, guys! I wasn't even f***ing worried, man. Like... That's birthday RNG right there, baby. I think it's like three encounters before Dayton lies on. That scared the sh** out of me, by the way. I did not realize she was there. Alright, Bright Powder Gyarados. Here's the solution. Wall Rain's never dead to crit. We actually block Intimidate with Oblivious here, not that it really matters. Um, we're going to lower his- we have Zoom Lens, so we can always hit him. Um, so Icy Wind's gonna make him slower. He cannot Dragon Dance, because I see a kill with Freeze Dry. Um, but obviously, it's a roll, and I can't damage boost because I need the zoom lens, right? That's, so we're gonna get Stone Edge, we're never dead to crit. Okay, let's see. Can I go hard Magnezone? Probably not, right? You can Earthquake right now. Nope, highest roll Earthquake is 84. This should always be exactly Stone Edge. I don't even need the pivot. Alright, hope I'm not missing anything. That would be really f***ing embarrassing. In case that Stone Edge crit, I need the pivot to Torterra, though. Yeah, 84 max roll on, on wall rain. I'm always fine. What am I worried about, man? And this makes Gyarados one speed point slower than my Magnazone. And we can just kill with Shockwave to hit through Bright Powder. I can't Dragon Dance on Torterra now, because Torterra is faster after Icy Wind, and I have two at KO with Woodhammer. This is always Earthquake. Thirty-eight speed. Jesus, this thing is slow. Should bait Raichu next because I have fast kill on Cursola in the back, and whatever I kill Raichu with, it has focus ban, so I can't really predict what I'm going to kill it with. It's either going to be Kecleon or Excadrilla, but either of them just kill Cursola after, so I don't have to worry about it. This fight's pretty free. I'm not going to lie. As long as you can figure out the Gyarados puzzle, it's pretty free. Although the Raichu has the potential to wipe me. And honestly, these pivots are not amazing. If this is like drop, I think I have to go hard x -Gum. I'm trying to keep Kecleon low level because it's a fake out mod for the Tate and Liza double battles and I can't pre-damage in gyms, right? And the Tate and Liza double battles are going to be really rough, so I gotta take every edge I can get. Cool. This is focus ban, not focus sash, so me faking out here doesn't actually do that much. Let's just not get the focus ban proc here. And if we do, just hit me with psychic, and then it doesn't matter. It's so free, man. Like, this game is so f***ing easy, bro. Another two kills for the kek. Why don't I just knock off the focus band? Because then uh, he hits me before I can turn into a dark type. Thanks for watching today. I appreciate it. See you guys later. Peace.